Here is the PN junction which is under the reverse bias. What is the reverse bias? So N is connected to P and P is connected to negative. That's your reverse bias. When the positive terminal of the battery is connected to the N side and negative terminal of the battery is connected to the P side. So the applied potential difference is in the same direction as that of the barrier potential. Then the junction is called as the reverse bias. When the PN junction is reverse bias, electrons in the N region and holes in the P region are attracted away from the junction. Because of this, the number of negative ions in the P region and positive ions in the negative region increases. Hence, the depletion region becomes wider and the potential barrier is increased. Since the depletion region does not contain the majority charge carriers, it called as insulators. So it acts as an insulator. So no electron flow and no electron flow, no current flow. Therefore, no current should flow in the external circuit. But in practice, a very small current of the order of few micro amperes flows in the reverse bias. This is due to the minority carriers flowing in the opposite direction. This reverse current is small because the number of minority carriers in both regions are really small. Since the major source of the minority carriers is thermally broken, covalent bond, the reverse current mainly depends on the junction temperature. The diode symbol has a p-type and n-type regions that are referred to as a pn and nn respectively. Here is the pn and nn. The arrow of the diode points the direction of the conventional current. 